Have you ever thought about owning a zero turn without any gas, belts, hoses, or oils? This may be the mower for you. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tool Reviews. Now it's no surprise to you because you obviously clicked on this video, but this is an all-electric zero turn mower. Better than that, it's a battery powered all-electric zero turn mower. Specifically, this is the Ego Z6 52 inch zero turn mower. Now the Z6 also comes in a 42 inch. This is the 52 inch model. So it has three different cutting blades and each one of those blades are powered by their own brushless motor. Now there's five total brushless motors on this mower. So you guessed it, each one of the rear wheels are also independently controlled by their own brushless motors. Now that gives the onboard management system the ability to independently control the drive wheels left and right, as well as each one of the blade motors also. Now in your typical zero turn mower, typically those are controlled by belts or hydraulics and it's all being powered by one central motor system, one central gas powered motor. If it's not running, none of the rest is. And pretty much if one's engaged, all are engaged, other than you know you can control the deck from the, from the drive wheels. But anyway, now we've got complete independent control of each one of those items without any belts, without any hydraulic fluid, without any pumps, without any spindles, any of those things that you have to typically maintain, you don't have to do on this mower. Yes, you're still going to have to sharpen the blades. Now, I'm getting kind of deep into this, so let's just dive in, take a closer look at each one of these features and more of the features. Then we'll do some runtime testing on it, see how much we mow from this, and then we'll come back and talk about more of the details of this mower. We'll talk about pricing, we'll talk about warranty, and we'll talk about our thoughts of this mower. This is the Ego 52 inch Z6. Now this runs on their 56 volt batteries, has triple blades on it. Each blade's controlled by its own brushless motor. And then you have two additional motors that drive the rear wheel. So you have individual brushless motor driving each rear wheel, as well as individual brushless motors driving each uh, blade motor as well. So we have no belts, no hoses, no oils, no gasoline to worry about. So maintenance is literally sharpening blades and uh, making sure you've got good batteries and that's about it. Now there are a few features that I really like about this mower and have really stood out as we've continued to use it. Now, as I mentioned, it runs on their 56 volt platform and basically, not basically, it does. It takes their same 56 volt batteries that we run in string trimmers, blowers, chainsaws, lights, everything that Ego offers runs on this 56 volt platform. So initially you may think, well, why do I want to use six tool batteries to drive my zero turn mower? And you really need to flip that on its head and realize that now you've got six additional batteries to work with the rest of your Ego fleet because you're not always mowing. You've got to string trim, blow everything else. So the, the ability to, to do this, to utilize these batteries is not only great for the mower, but it's also great for your other uh, tools as well. And here's the other cool thing about all these batteries being on board here. Let me show you this. With this single door right here, this port, you plug in one plug and you charge all six batteries at one time. So now you've got a charger on board that's keeping all these charged. Once you get done, plug this in. Now you've got six full batteries ready to go, whether you're going to mow, blow, trim, or whatever else you're going to do. So a really cool feature there to be able to plug in one plug and to charge all six of those batteries. Now here's another really nice feature that usually you only see on the commercial mowers. They're starting to make their way on to these more residential mowers, but the ability to set the seat adjustment in both suspension, so you get a suspension seat that's actually going to move as you ride and hit your undulations and bumps in the road, if you will. So you can tighten that or loosen that suspension seat right there with that knob and also you got fore and aft movement. And I'm telling you that I have more room on this mower than I do on my commercial zero turn. Now raising and lowering the deck is very easy, pretty typical. Pull this up, drop it down to whatever position you want and it's gonna lock into place. So whether you wanna slam it all the way to the bottom, pull it all the way to the top or somewhere in the middle and the markings are very easily readable. You can even put a stop in there if you want to. We have another compartment that's a large compartment where we can keep things you find in the yard, uh, 
camera lens cover, of course. Uh, this is the hose hookup where you can actually uh, hook this up to your water hose and clean the inside of the deck and the blades. And we also have a USB port in there as well. And then, of course, we have two drink holders, one big enough for your big Yeti cup or your big uh, thirst quencher cup from your Circle K or wherever you're getting your drink from, or just your standard water bottle. Or if you're double fisting, you can hold both of them. One single click of the power button is going to turn on the screen, but that does not power up the mower. You have to then hold the power button down. You'll see the screen flash and then all the icons come up. And now you can see that we're ready to go as long as we remove our emergency brake or disengage our emergency brake. There's many things we can see here. Number one, we can see that we have all six batteries in. So we see the, uh, the solid circle on one, two, three, four, five, and six. We also see 35%. That's the status of our batteries as a whole. So it tells us we got 35% charge left. We also see over here, we see the rabbit and the turtle, and we see the little wheel marker here that tells us that's our drive speed. So that's our uh, max speed for the drive wheels, and we can turn that all the way up, or we can turn it all the way down, or somewhere in between. Now we also have some variability with the sticks as well, but this is our max speed. Over here is our blade speed. So right now we've got it all the way down. I can turn that all the way up and make sure that those blades are engaging all the way up. Now this can also be governed by the computer system as well, where it's actually, or the management system, where it actually senses how thick that grass is by you know, how much effort it's having to put into it, and that can actually increase the power going to those blades. Now, if we wanna change our mode speed, number one, we gotta make sure that we have our sticks out, uh, and then we can change, in this case, we're in standard. I can push the mode button, that goes to sport. Push it again, that goes to control. I think uh, I may have mentioned comfort, but uh, it's actually control standard and sport i would definitely recommend staying off a of sport mode when you're actually cutting especially when you're on nice turf and you're cutting that also tells us we have the uh, the parking brake engaged so when we turn that off we see that parking go off and since i'm not in the seat it's actually alerting me that the parking brake is off and we're powered up Turn the parking brake back on, and you can see we get that parking emblem there. So a lot of things going on here, uh, right here from the screen. We can also turn our headlights on and turn our headlights off, and we get that icon right up here telling us that we have them on or off. It also tells us that we have the key in. If I pull the key out, you see the screen goes blank. And if I put it back in, then I have to go through the whole power up process again hold the power button down and it comes back on. So a lot of things that we can see right here from the main control screen. Another really cool feature is this little door right here where we can stick our phone in there and that's gonna keep it nice and secure while we're cutting. Turn on the Bluetooth and listen to the tunes in our earbuds or we can put it in the other side and to obviously charge it from the USB cable. Pretty typical blade engagement right here with the red button, pull it up to engage the blades, push it down to disengage the blades, but you do have to have uh, the parking brake off and be sitting in the seat to be able to activate those blades. As you can see now, I'm powered up, but I cannot turn on the blades. Now I'm sitting down in the seat. So, the parking brake is still on and I can engage the blades. I just must be sitting in the seat to be able to activate those. If I pull these on and then get out of the seat, it shuts the blades off. So even though I still have these engaged, I'm out of the seat now and it cut off the blades. So just running this, you're not gonna hear anything except a little bit of an electric motor whine. really don't hear much of anything. Now when we engage the blades, that's when we'll hear something. And that's the majority of your noise. And really the only thing that you'll hear when running this.
very easy to cut with. You do have to get used to the controls. As I mentioned, you definitely want to start in standard mode or in control mode because in sport mode, it's just on your turns, both wheels are going to be active. You can definitely dig some rats. I find it just when I'm just mowing standard mode works just great and really your standard grass height uh, it really doesn't even engage the governor because when you do run into some higher grass you will hear the motors ramp up so it does sense how much grass you're in how thick it is and you'll hear that ramp up as it needs to Now we should hear when I get up into some of this uh, thicker grass right here that we should hear the blades kind of ramp up where it's sensing that it's thicker grass, apply a little more power to those blades as it's needed and then it will settle back down as I get out of the thicker grass. There it goes, ramps up. And now it's going to calm back down. Now as I get into this thicker stuff, probably about right here, there it ramps up. It's going to stay up. Now still powered up. And now when I get into the lighter stuff, it's going to settle back down. Now it's settling back down. And I don't have to go slow at this thicker stuff. I was just showing you how it does it. So all in all, on the included six 12 amp hour batteries on a single charge, we cut a little more than three acres. Now, Ego claims a four acre runtime. Could we have gotten four acres? I doubt that. I will tell you we were doing a 25 to 30% overlap in our cutting path, which is pretty typical of what we like to see because if you're trying to cut that too close, then you're gonna leave stragglers from time to time. So again, we were making sure that we were overlapping by 25 or 30%. So if you wanted to equate some of that, you may get to that fourth acre anyway, but I don't think that's important. Also, you come into uh, items like, uh, you know, uh, deck height, uh, the length of the grass, the type of the grass, the, the type of the terrain, all those things come into play when you really start diving into runtime and how much can I cut on one single charge. Many times when I'm going over a piece of equipment like this, that A is a pretty expensive a piece of equipment, that B, there's many features involved in a piece of equipment like this, and C, many times you have a lot of questions and I'm trying to answer all those questions before you actually give me the questions. Maybe I can get ahead of it. But that tends to get comments like that I'm long-winded. So sorry if I'm long-winded, but what I'll try to do is run some B-roll here, which means like mower stuff, uh, while I'm talking to you and giving you those answers. So here's the deal. They claim a 52-inch fabricated deck. Yes, it is a, I would call it a semi-fabricated deck. Uh, much of it is fabricated. There's some pieces that are stamped and then welded together. I just wanted to point that out. It is a, a very sturdy deck, no problems whatsoever. But when I look at it, I don't say, hey, that's a completely fabricated deck. Many parts of it is fabricated and they've done a great job with it. Also, I love the fact that we have independent control of each one of those brushless motors. In other words, the, each uh, mower blade is driven by its own motor. Basically, that means that if, if there's ever a part failure, it may be pulling out four screws and replacing that, and, you know, pulling the blade off, whatever. Uh, Maintenance-wise, you're gonna be dealing with 
blades. Pretty much that's it. Recharging batteries and blades. If we talk about warranty, this thing is covered by a five-year warranty. Now that's not just the tool, that's not just the mower covered by a five-year warranty, that's the batteries covered by a five-year warranty, and that's also all the electronics and the mower itself and the charger covered by that five-year warranty. So if anything happens to this within the five years, then Ego is going to take care of it. This thing is very easy to operate. I mentioned about the three different modes on the control system that I would definitely recommend not starting in sport mode. I know some of you guys out there are gonna to wanna to throw it in sport mode and just take off, but I'm telling you, you're probably gonna put ruts in the yard because even though I've been using a zero turn for 15 years, I still, in sport mode on this thing, it's really too aggressive in the turns and you'll start ruining the turf. So I'd, I'd definitely stay in the, in the standard or the comfort mode to get that more of a softened approach when it comes to making your turns, especially if you're making 180s, you definitely don't wanna be in that sport mode. But as far as controls on this, they've done a really, really good job at making them feel like a zero turn. And by the way, don't make the mistake that I did. I actually had the sticks on the insides and actually one of our viewers on Instagram pointed it out to me. And so I put them on the outside like they're supposed to be. And now they don't touch when you pull them in together and they operate absolutely fine. A really cool thing with Ego is they include a little toolkit with a couple of wrenches in there, a couple of Allen wrenches, and everything you need to put this thing together when you get it. So what's pricing like? Pricing is $69.99, so $7,000. Now you may say that's a lot of money, and that is a lot of money. Let's face it, seven grand is seven grand, whether you're buying a mower or a car or whatever, nobody likes to just hand over $7,000. Now let's talk about where that's positioned. Is this going to replace a commercial zero turn? Absolutely not. I would never recommend someone that's buying a commercial zero turn to buy this unit. But I don't think that's where Ego is placing this either. Now where I do think it meshes in is kind of that prosumer level. Because let's face it, if you're wanting the stamped out cookie cutter lawn tractor that you can buy for two grand, 2,500 at the big box store, well, you're gonna go do that. You know, you're not gonna buy this for 2,500 bucks. At the same time, with that lawn tractor, you're not getting any of the features that we've talked about here. You're getting a lawn tractor. So then when you start stepping into that prosumer level or starting getting into zero turns that have more than just uh, stamped out everything, now you're getting into that, you know, six, $7,000 range. And so now you're competing at that price level. And then what Ego is providing that those others aren't, or let's say that what Ego's not providing, and that is no belts, no hoses, no oils, and no gasoline. So you don't have to worry about uh, oiling anything. You don't have to worry about changing oils. You don't have to worry about changing filters. You don't have to worry about adding gasoline. Do you have to charge it? Yes, you do have to charge it. The cool thing is the charger charges all six of these batteries at one time. So that's a really easy way to charge all those batteries. And as I mentioned uh, before, the fact that now all of those batteries, you can use them in your stick tools, meaning your string trimmer, your edger, uh, your blower, as long as you've got the Ego system, now you've got batteries to power all of those things. So really this boils down to a question of, are you willing to step out and spend a little more of a premium in order to not have those things? Or maybe just flat, you don't wanna deal with the smell of gasoline and, and dripping oil in your garage and hey listen this is a great answer for this you can find these at lowe's you can find these at acme tools uh, you can get online and by the way acme has these uh for free shipping as well if you order from acme or like i said i, I think there's out of stock at lowe's but you can probably order it there at lowe's online but check these out this is the ego z6 zero turn 52 inch mower we think it's a great little mower again we're getting three plus acres of runtime on the on the 612 amp hour batteries and again we had like 12 percent left which we pretty much say that's pretty dead as far as power goes you can push this thing about as hard as you want to uh, i've always said and I, and I still stand by it if you're one of those that maintain your lawn then this would be a great mower for you now, if you're one that you let your lawn get out of control all the time, then any battery powered mower at this time is probably really not the answer for you. 
uh, because they're just not made to run off, you know, and just uh, be a bush hog. And really, no mower is. You're working those mowers really hard if that's what you're doing. You're, you know, you live in Florida and you're waiting three, four weeks to cut your lawn and it's getting knee high every time. This is not the mower to do that. But if you want that, you know, little bit oversized lawn, you've got that three quarter acre, one acre, two acre three acre lawn that you want to cut and you keep it maintained maybe it gets a little out of control from time to time this would be a great mower for you so make sure you check it out again it's from ego it's the z6 52 inch zero turn mower also keep track of us on instagram facebook and twitter have a great day and keep smiling